Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Akram and you are watching Knowledge360. In this video, I will show you how to call a stored procedure or function from a trigger function in PostgreSQL database. Okay, so in my videos, I have already described how to call a stored procedure from another stored procedure. So lots of things we have already seen we have already seen many videos regarding trigger functions how trigger function works so if you have missed them please do check my channel playlist or my channel videos you can get them okay and please do subscribe my channel to get the notifications for the videos so let's start uh, checking this video how we can do it so for that i have prepared some dummy things so that we can uh, check it practically so let me quickly explain you these things i have created one table upon which i am going to create a trigger so what are the steps to create the triggers what is a uh, trigger function lots of things we have already covered in previous videos you should check them out so let's uh, create a table say it's a student table we have three columns role name and course okay so we can create it like this okay the table is created we can check the same from here okay uh, this is the table we just created now now let's see this is a procedure that uh, i'm calling it a trigger procedure and in this procedure what i am doing uh, i'm taking two input values input value one input value two and one output parameter out result okay so what i'm doing uh, whatever input value is coming i'm adding them into uh, out result variable okay so through out parameter we will get the output result so all these things also covered how these things work uh, you should check the other videos to learn about these things so this was a procedure where we have taken two input uh, parameter numbers and one out parameter which will hold the uh, summation result okay so these things are done exception is handled here okay and one function also i have created that is trigger function what uh, it will also do the same but in a function way like it will take two input values in the parameter and it returns the numeric output which would be the result of the sum is uh, some value of value one and value two into out result okay i'm returning the out result here here also i have handled the exception and i am raising notice uh, of error through sql error uh, it holds the error message okay so here is the trigger function actually uh, we are writing is uh, create a replace function but it actually returns trigger so uh, in postgres sql uh, you must know that uh, when we create normal trigger that returns numeric value returns array return character so that those things would appear here those things would appear in the function section okay and if when we create return triggers that will appear here in a while uh, i'm going to do it and you can check that okay so in this trigger function uh, that is what that is the reason we call it trigger function okay so in this function what uh, i have done uh, i have declared two variables here lv out proc uh, and lv out function so uh, what I'm doing uh, here, I'm calling the procedure. Uh, this procedure is for to call the trigger procedure. Input value are 50, 50. So uh, the output value, the result should be 100. Because what I'm doing when I'm calling this procedure, the value are getting getting added here, and it comes as a result through out parameter. Okay. Through, so uh, in this uh, in this procedure call this is the out parameter that will hold the data so i have already declared it okay and this is the function okay uh, in the function we know that function returns value to hold it we must have uh, like uh, matching uh, matching data type uh, variable here that will hold the out return data from function so in case of function also we are doing similar things uh, we are adding two values here and the out result is written okay it is returned so it is hold in this variable so what i'm going to do to check that uh, this procedure and this function is called successfully so i'm uh, raising a notice that uh, proc output is this and the function output is this okay so let's create we have created the table already now let's create this procedure okay 
okay procedure is created we can verify it from here see the procedure is created now let's create the function I will share this uh, source codes in the video description you should check uh, from there to get this exact source codes okay okay the function is created here okay we can check it from here as I told that when we create normal function that appears here okay function is created now let's create the trigger function so uh, these are the steps uh, actually we create trigger function first then we create the trigger in that we call the trigger function okay so let's create the trigger function okay trigger function is created so that will appear here the trigger function is uh, created here okay yeah, it is here now let's the create uh, trigger okay in the trigger what happens uh, I'm creating trigger a student trigger and it it will be triggered when before insert or delete or update so uh, any like if we do anything like we insert any record or we delete or do any update so this trigger would be fired and these things would be called okay you can add your uh, business logic here in the trigger function but to show that how we call the procedure like this and how we call function like this in trigger function so I'm taking these examples okay so this is the uh, statement on which table it will be created obviously we have created one table students table and it it is a row level trigger so we need to be specify for each row even uh, we skip it uh, it's okay uh, because by default it will take the for each row and in the execute section what we are calling execute function this function would be called this is the trigger function okay uh, and also here we can give parameter if in your case it is required you can give okay so let's create the trigger on this table this trigger will call this trigger function okay so let's create this trigger okay the trigger is also created we can verify that from here okay you can see that for this table one trigger is there and this is the trigger okay so now our time this is the time to uh, check if uh, these things are working or not so when uh, I'm going to insert one record what will happen step by step uh, when this uh, record will be inserted this trigger will be fired okay when this trigger will fire this uh, it will call this function student logs trigger function when this function will be called then within that it will call uh, within that it will call this trigger procedure that will add result 50 and 50 the output would be 100 and uh, it will be st stored the 100 that uh, output will be stored in this variable and then one function will be called trigger function with parameter 100 and 100 the output result the sum output would be LV out function and that would be 200 okay because we are adding 100 and 100 you can change this variable to get other results okay so finally we will get output uh, printed like uh, proc output 100 and pro function output 200 so let's check when we insert one record here okay so it's saying that uh, proc output is 100 and function output is 200 and insert one record is inserted okay we can also verify if a record is inserted or not okay uh, one record is inserted so uh, this is how we can call a stored procedure or a function from a trigger function okay so when we write trigger function actually we can do anything like we can also perform here uh, ddl and dml operations also those things i'll explain in other video so subscribe my channel to get the notifications and don't miss any video also you can watch out uh, other videos previous videos uh, that would be helpful for you okay so let's meet in the next video with another topic where I'll be showing you how we can perform DML and DDL operations within the trigger function I'll expand this trigger function for uh, performing uh, any uh, other operations okay like DML and DDL so till then take care bye bye